Okay, so this is about religion under Henry the Seventh. He was Henry the Seventh. If you're looking at the Tudors, is kind of the baseline of religion, if you like, because then Henry after him, Henry the Eighth went along and messed it up a bit. Well, not a bit. He kind of ruined it all, but yeah. So anyway, <laughs> the function of the church. Um, it was run by the Pope but he lived in Rome, so daily life was led and influenced by the parishes. It had lots of festivals and celebrations like Saints' Days, which helped to um, give structure to everyday life. It helped to control the normal people because it instilled a sense of obedience, good behaviour, um, and a sense of community, which were all quite important in controlling people and keeping the great chain of being. So if you don't know what the great chain of being is, it's basically the feudal system. It's the belief that there is a structured hierarchy in society. And the church also gave jobs to people and helped with social advancement, like... Later, under Henry VIII, it helped Cardinal Wolsey. Um, Henry VII, in particular, used the church to reward people. Like, he made Richard Fox a bishop, and he gave more titles later on. It was the framework of society, as I've said. Um, the Catholic Church believed in the seven sacra sacraments, and they... Kind of were the framework for life, I think, as well. It had a big social role. So some monasteries and big big churches, no, probably just the monasteries, ran schools and almshouses for the poor. So they did a lot of poor relief. And actually, when you look at the dis after the dissolution of the monasteries, then you start to see a lot of problems with poor people. And many people also went on pilgrimages to help their grace. So basically, the Catholics believed, and still believe, that um, the more good things you do, like saying prayers, going on pilgrimages, stuff like that, the more grace you have. And in order to, oh, and the seven sac and do the seven sacraments as well. And the more, and you need grace to get into heaven, basically. So then there are the chantries. These are the chapels where masses were said, and people left money to say more masses, basically. And. The more money that they left, the more masses that would be said, so the less time they'd spend in purgatory. Now, there are also lots of religious orders. By 1500, 1% of men were in monastic orders, and there were 900 monastic orders. There were friars from about the 13th century, but they were poorer in the sense that the people who joined were poorer. The orders themselves were poorer. For example, you've got the Benedictine monks, which were really a rich order of monks, but the friars didn't have anything like that. And they also tended to help the more poor people. Nunneries were less prestigious. Pe women basically only went there if they were considered not suitable for marriage. And people also learned trades in monasteries, so they were really key parts of life. So then we get to the Lollards. They criticised the church, they were there for the second half of the 14th century. They thought that the Catholic Church was corrupt and they disliked transubstantiation and the Eucharist. But it's important to remember because you might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of the criticism that they got during Henry VIII's time and the dissolution of the monastery, but actually they were a minority group and most people thought they were heretics. Um, 
And there were three things that they were mainly accused of when talking about corruption. Pluralism, where one person held multiple positions of office at once. Simony, which is the sale of ecclesiastical privileges. And indulgences, which were sold to reduce time in purgatory. And one of the main things about um, Henry VII's reign when it comes to religion is the um is humanism so there was a resurgence in new translations of classical texts because these were all being discovered somewhere they believed mostly in free will and lots of humanists were big in economics and politics like erasmus and collet collet and they were spread by the printing press right this has been henry